Hello children, in our last lesson, we learned about percentage. Let's take the most practical example of percentage, which is tax. Before we understand how to calculate tax, let's understand what is tax and why is it required? We know our government builds schools, government schools, hospitals, roads, highways, runs the train. Have you ever wondered how do government build all these things? Where does government get its money from to build these schools, hospitals, roads, trains, airports, etc.? Government also needs money, right? To build all these things. Government earns this money from all of us in form of tax. How? Let's take an example. Let's say it's a winter season and we went to a shop to buy a sweater. The shopkeeper says the sweater will be 1000 rupees. We pay 1000 rupees and the shopkeeper gives us the sweater. We think the entire 1000 rupees is with shopkeeper, right? Not really. Some part of this 1000 rupees sale, shopkeeper pays to government in form of tax. In this particular case, because it was a sale, this tax is called value added tax or sales tax. So this money the shopkeeper pays to government. Same way all the different shopkeepers for their sales pays the money to the government. Another form of tax is income tax. Say you are working in some company. You earn some income per month. Of that, you pay an income tax to the government. Tomorrow you grow up, you start your own big restaurant or a factory. If you are running a restaurant, you may be paying service tax there. right? So government have different forms of taxes which it collects from businesses as well as from individuals. And that is how government is able to fund all these projects like building big highways, shipping ports, airports, etc. So tax is very important thing which we all of us pay in our day-to-day -day life to government and that is what keeps our nation and government running. Now let's try to find out how is this tax calculated. Let's take the example of the valuated tax or the sales tax. So the price before tax for the shopkeeper what shopkeeper calculated was 950 rupees. Let's say the value date tax or the sales tax is 5% on this price, price before tax. So we know from percentage, how do we calculate this value? If the tax was 5% and it's 5% on 950 rupees, it's nothing but 5 by 100 into 950. Because understand 5% really means you have to pay 5 rupees tax on every 100 rupees. So in 950 rupees, you are going to pay 5 by 100 into 950. If it was 7%, you are going to pay 7 by 100 into 950. If your price before the tax was say 1200 rupees, so and the tax was 5%, you are going to calculate 5% on 1200 rupees, 5 by 100 into 1200, right? So the tax slab is determined by government and this price you calculate based on your material, right? And that is what calculates how much is the valuated tax. So in this particular example, you calculated your price of the sweater before tax was 950 rupees and the government was say charging 5% on this price. So you are going to pay 47.5 rupees, 5 by 100 into 950, zero gets cut. 1, 5 is a 10, 2 is left, 95 divided by 2 is 47.5, that is 47 rupees 50 pesa. So price after tax, the shopkeeper takes 950 rupees plus 47.5 which is needs, he needs to pay to the government, he charges 997.5 rupees to the customer. So we as a customer, when we go to the shop, we say for example, we are paying 997.5 rupees for this sweater. Of this 47.5 rupees is being paid to the government in form of value added tax by the shopkeeper and what shopkeeper actually gets is 950 rupees. So the price before tax was 950 rupees 
5% for example was a value added tax on this price. So 5% on 950 is 5 by 100 into 950, which comes out to be 47.5. Add this price before tax and the value added tax gives you 950 plus 47.5, which is equal to 997.5 rupees. So this is what is the selling price with which the seller is putting the sweater on and you as customer pay this thing. And of this 47.5 rupees shopkeeper pays to the government and 950 rupees is what he gets. So value added tax can have different values. I have just taken an example, but the calculation formula remains very similar. Price before tax multiply by that percentage gives you the value added tax and that price plus value added tax is the actual selling price.